Ranger Ashley, I don't mean to question your methods, but I feel this is exceptional slacking on your part on keeping the ducks safe. Ash, Alia, if you don't mind, thank you. I apologize that it, it poisoned you. Very sorry, Alia. But yes, yeah, so we're just heading on our way back home to get ready for market day from a quick little adventure that we did. And I walk by and what do I see? <laughs> I see a scorpion in with our ducks. Thankfully, everybody seems okay. And scorpions are actually pretty docile during the daytime. So that worked out fine. Come on, Sunflower Street, there we go. But, oh, poor No being the only bunny. I guess we'll have to catch any other bunnies. Uh, that we managed to find but today is market day so we're hurrying back home so I can drop off some of the things that we just grabbed and oh oh now I know how to make pear juice so we can make a bunch of pear juice and take it to our friend whoops I'm just dropping pears on the ground but we can take it to our new friend who we have in the dye shop and he will actually be able to have his pears to eat so I'm pretty excited about that all right let's pop over here and then we're gonna actually put Alia and Ash, who were really great at our little mini adventure. It was very good for them to get their first taste of what being a wandering pup manages to uh, be like. They were they were really good. Come on, Alia. Come on, girl. Let's actually see what they picked up while we were on our little trip. All right, Alia, you come here. I think we actually have to give Alia another bath. I think tomorrow might be another doggy bath day, doggy cleaning day, because yeah, she's full of different things so we'll have to give her a good bath ash what about you ash i actually need to level him up so we might work on leveling ash up so that he can be a better pack puppy carrying more for us but for now we're gonna pop inside thank you darling greeting me at the door or more on top of the armor stand with a cup of tea oh you're so wonderful darling all right let's toss these things in here for just a minute and we'll dig through everything. We managed to get quite a few new little plants, which I'm pretty excited about. And we found a music disc. So that was pretty darn cool, too. I think we got both the safari nuts. I may be wrong about that. I may have accidentally... Nope, yeah, we got both the safari nuts. And there's the pears. All right, so today is market day, one of my favorite days. I'm going to put this here. We still have enough dog food, interestingly enough, from our last market day. So that makes me happy. Uh, oh, ooh! Good, and we've got some of the ingredients right here to make more puppy treats. So today might be a day where we do need to make more puppy treats. Also get a lot more wheat. There we go. Gotta open up some more villager trades. I'm trying to think, and actually we do want to try to open up some more tinker trades today. So that's another big goal we have. I don't think we'll be able to do very many though because I didn't get a lot of wood yesterday for making barricades with. Alright, so let's see dog treats or wheat first dog treats or wheat dog treats or wheat um let's see what is it what else do we need to make a dog treat no that's not the ones we want we want yeah there we go a training treat we need sugar gunpowder bones string and wheat so i think we can make some training treats let's go ahead and make some training treats we just need to get some sugar uh because i think we have enough okay no sugar in there Sweet tooth drawer. Got sugar in here. We'll come out here. Hello, Artemis. And in case you guys missed the episode, we are wondering, so if our cats in our staff lounge, our feline security cats, and, you know, Agent Noodles, all the cats who are spread around the area, could potentially have unique colors and patterns and things like that, what do you think they would look like? You know, you can make some drawings, make some Sims pets, however you want to represent them. But I would love to know what you guys think the cats would look like if they were more than just tuxedo cats. So I don't know. Who knows why Siri asked this question? Who knows? Siri, why do you ask this question? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It might be a little bit of a mystery. Actually, and I think we just picked up one gunpowder that I put down. Oh, and we got more wheat. We got wheat from a chest, and I was so excited. I was excited about a dungeon drop being wheat because we are always low on wheat because I really need to go back <laughs> and do some more work in our farm, which is going to have even more surprises, Artemis, even more. Oh, I'm going to just explode from all the exciting surprises. All right, yeah, we still have a good amount of wheat left. So, all right, let's put this one sugar away. There you go, little sugar. 
close this, return those items at least. And now we've got some training treats to feed to our puppies. Thank you, darling. I'm good on the cups of tea for just a minute. All right, and Ash. Level up. Level up, little Ash puppy. Level up, level up. Holly, can you level up? Nope. Ash, there you go. There you go. That's 10 there. Uh, who else could use these training treats? Hello? Hello? Iris. There we go. So now we have just leveled up both Iris and Ash, which I think is fair. So Iris, um, what else should we give her? I really think, let's see, what's Rescue Dog? Mm, no. Quick Healer? Maybe. Shepherd Dog? Maybe. I feel like she's more like of a mega puppy eyes. And like the, the really calm, quiet, nice things. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll give her more puppy eyes. Oh, and she's out of points now. So now she's really got good puppy eyes. And Ash over here is actually going to have more pack puppy going on with him. Oh, and we're all out. Okay, so he's, he's a better pack puppy now. So he's actually going to have more space inside of his inventory to pick things up. But he won't pick it up automatically just yet. And I want to get him set to that like Holly is. Holly! Holly, what are you doing? Holly! Hang on! I'll save you! Maybe this is how Lily managed to glitch her way under the, the fence. She dug her way out. Okay, got Holly. There you go, sweetie. Okay. All right, so there are our dogs. Let's take off my gear. Whew, that's better. It's a nice, safe, relaxing market day. I shouldn't have to wear my gear. All right, so I know who the cups of tea go to. Let's grab our coin purse. Today's going to be interesting since we're taking landmines into town to trade. Landmines, really? And let's see, I need to get all the pears we have. Did I stick all those pears, like, in a silly place again? Because we picked a bunch of pears from our front yard. There we go. In fact, are they ready again? Nope, not yet. That is a fast-growing pear tree, I tell you what. However, Mara wonderfully gave me the advice of what I need to be able to make pear juice. So I'm very excited. We're going to make tons of pear juice. I mean, tons of it. Because I haven't used pears really in anything else. Apparently, you need to stick the pears into the presser. It works! Look at it! Look at it go! We're making pear juice! Oh, that's exciting. Ah, oh, thrilling! Thrilling! Alright, and let's see. What else can we work on for right now? Because now we have to wait for the pear juice to finish. <laughs> I just realized. So it's like, whoops, I should have done that first. Uh, let's put these little... Th those pieces away. Um, I guess we could go visit the boys. Let's go visit the boys. We have a lot of paper for Kylie if he wants it. Because I made a ton of it. Is it getting dark? Okay, let's go snooze in our hammock upstairs. Hello, Persephone. Hello. Yeah, let's snooze in our little hammock. Climb into the bed. Now we're all comfy. Darling and I read outside at night sometimes. We'll sit outside and just like read whatever we're we're playing with at the moment. Sometimes we'll take our DS's out. Modern couple. <laughs> sometimes, yeah, we will just take our DS's out and play those. Um, I'm trying to think what else people in town want to trade. We're running low on villagers lately, it seems. Let's just go ahead and gather up some of the... Oh, I guess we need to make some of the land mines, actually, because I just made the cast. I didn't make the actual land mines. All right, how you guys doing down here? Thank you for the eggs. All right, I need to put more aluminum in. And actually, do I have the aluminum in here? Yes. Because the aluminum ore berries do not equal a lot of aluminum, trust me. All right, that's sorting. Look at all these blank casts, almost a whole stack of them. Wow, that's going to make a lot of landmines for who knows what kind of notorious use. Oh, don't mind me, darling. I am not participating. He's very much a pacifist, so I need to reassure him I am not participating in, like, weapons of mass destruction or anything of that nature. Goodness. All right, yeah, the aluminum blocks are here. We might smelt those down, and then I just need to put... Darling, this is totally innocent. Oh, I don't think you believe me. We'll have to have a talk later. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Um... I guess I'm just going to have to use jungle wood. I hesitate because jungle wood's so rare, but 
I guess I'm just gonna have to, can I turn this into, <gasps> that makes a jungle with barricades, so that's not gonna do me any good. All right, let's come over here. Let's remove the oak wood planks and just put like giant things of jungle wood in. And then we'll put all this away. I need more redstone. Ah, crabs! Oh, I don't have any crabs. I was gonna talk to my crabs and I realized they're not in here. I wonder where my piranha is. Piranha? Oh, 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 I think I saw him for just a second. Like, I think he darted behind there. All right, you guys, this is a test. If you see the piranha, let me know. This is a quick observation test. I don't, I don't know if my piranha's in here. In hindsight, this is a very dangerous kind of thing to make because the carpenter's plucks, like, kill your fish. <laughs> so, even though it's really cool, you might want to remove any of these, like, little corner pieces and just make it, like, squares. And then your fish should be okay. Alright, did I get enough redstone? I don't know. So we'll just grab a little bit more redstone. There we go. And now let's make some more stone pressure plates. Like this. There we go. Is that enough? We're going to add these to here. Add this to here. Add that to there. Not enough. Interesting. Alright, more stone pressure plates. More redstone. And we're going to have a ton to take in for market day today. So trading in, <laughs> trading in uh, explosives. That's not concerning whatsoever. Oh, the cats are all like complaining about it now too. They're like, what are you doing, mom? All right, there we go. Boom, 55 landmines. We're going to very gingerly tuck these into the trading pack. And then actually I need to take all of that wood that we just brought back, even though it's not enough. I can't believe I have to go on like an oak wood collecting spree. Oh, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. I love it. I love the kinds of adventures we get up to, cats. All right, so let's come over here. There we go, oak barricade. There we go, good. All right, so that's also something we're going to trade. And I guess we're going to go up and visit with the boys now and see what they want to trade, too. All right, 30 pear juices is probably enough for now. Let's pop through here. Try and think if I need to grab anything else. Can't think of anything off the top of my head. This happens every week. I swear, once we get all settled uh, with season two, then I'll be sure to have like a little list or something posted somewhere. Hello, villager. You're one of the new villagers. Hey, Jackson. How you doing? Actually, I've unlocked all your trades, haven't I, buddy? Um, and it does include some wheat, so we could trade to Jackson. Joey, how you doing? Nice to see you. Iverson, how you doing? I know what you trade. Let's see. Kylie! Hey! I have brought you more paper. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, Kylie! I have so much more paper for you. Why? Why, Kylie? If I unlock this, your final trade, I think sometimes if you do their final trade, it, like, resets the other trades. Hey, Iverson, how you doing? I'm really not in the need for anything from you at the moment, Iverson. I could always use more reusable safari nets, but I just store them. So I think I need to punish myself by not buying them from you and storing them instead. All right, Kylie. Oh, Kylie, we're good again. I knew you were good for it, Kylie. Uh -huh. Perfect. Thank you, Kylie. Wonderful. That's very good. Very good. Hey, JJ. And JJ is in the mood to trade boots and nothing else. Um, and actually, yeah, we took our tinker away already. So I don't think I have anything else for anybody, except maybe Jackson. I should probably keep this wheat, though, because we're going to pop into town and I want to open up some villager trades. All right, so let's take the dogs with us. Let's take the biggest puppy eye dogs with us because th that will have them drop like the best things when we go into town because the villagers will be like oh look at your puppy it's so cute and i'll be like right aren't they so cute all right we'll bring you yeah you can come on actually i'll change you to tactile because we are kind of going into town so i don't want them to be all ragey when we go into town all right I love the days we go into town. Zoe, Zozo. You've actually got, in fact, I'll just leave you on docile. Uh, Tate. 
You can come too, Tate. Tactile. That's fine. We've got them set to all sorts of different things. Actually, let's go through the garden. That'll be faster. Alright, so time to go into town. Into the village of light. Zoe is so ready to go. And do a little bit of training. One day we'll have to do another garden day. Man, I have great plans for expanding the garden. Actually, that's a good question. If you guys could do anything in Zudesia that was not exhibit related, because I know we're slowly but surely working on the exhibits, what would you do? See, the thing is, Zudesia has become a lifestyle, not just a, a zoo building project. And I love that about Zudesia. All right, now we're headed into town. I love that new bridge. And the dogs are teleporting. That's fine. All right, hey, Vanessa. Hey, oh, Toby. All right, let's come down here and start meeting with the villagers. All right, let's see. Hello, everybody. There's a tinker, Serena. Aha, Serena, let's start unlocking your trades. Today is especially tinker trade day. So Serena is willing to trade some aluminum ore berries. So let's just pop open that trade. And you, sir. That's a very expensive iron sword, sir. And Yuki, how are you doing? Yuki, iron ingots. Oh, I wish I had known in time. I actually do have some on me. Let me see if I can go smelt them up over at the blacksmiths. I love how you have, like, the little gardens. Trust me, there's so many ideas, like, projects for beautifying uh, the village and expanding the village are very very rich in coming hello dogs <laughs> all right which one of you actually i should just ask my dogs if i can find i don't have a single oak wood plank are you kidding me i'm gonna borrow this there we go do you see i just i I'm casually opening this up a little bit one of you has to have something i can burn zoe zoe you actually have an interesting collection of things i have to admit tate Oh, come on, guys. Nobody has, like, a good supply of fuel. The closest we've got are these two carpenter's wedges. That's not going to burn this whole thing. I need more. All right, let's just borrow from the lava right here. Come here. And then let's just, like, casually slip a thing of lava in here. Because that works, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know for how long. Hopefully long enough to keep that going. So that should be good. Alright, so who else should we trade with? Serena is right up there. Let's go see what she trades now. Oh, and there's an extra dog food bowl. I forgot I left this here. Oh, I even had food in it. Sweet. Oh, that's wonderful. Now I can just put it in the dog yard. That was left over from when I had Lily and Tate sitting when we were building. Aluminum orberry bushes! Sweet! Except what the heck is this? A punji stick? What is that? Serena! <laughs> you guys... You guys just have the weirdest trades! Punji stick. Are you kidding me? Sugarcane. Lucky me. I just saw a dog had a bunch of sugarcane. This is the pup sa tr save trading day, that's for sure. Alright. Where's my... Okay, there we go. Okay, no, not you, Tate. Tate, did you have it? Okay, Iris. Okay, Zoe. Somebody had, I just saw it, a bunch of sugar cane. Tate, there we go. Oh my goodness. This is so redonkadonk. All right. Punji stick, punji stick. All right, now we have five of them. Oh. The dogs finally got close enough for some of the villagers somewhere to have dropped something. Ah, oh, and that's birch barricades. <laughs> Serena, why? All right, let's go take a quick nap. And then we can actually make birch barricades. That won't be so hard. Oh, there we go. They're just throwing gold on the ground for me. All right, let's run inside Teddy's area. And we'll take a quick snooze. Punji sticks. What the heck do you even use these for? Ooh, more stuff dropping down from the skies. Thank you, villagers. Thank you. Don't mind. Don't mind if I do. I know I have really cute dogs. Take a snooze. <sighs> just bury my face in the blankets for a moment. I love side quest days, though. I love market days. I love seeing what we can do. All right. Hey, Teddy. 
Um, I don't have any coins right now or else I would stop by here for breakfast. Do I have anything? I think I still have something from Teddy. No, but I do have some fresh peach tea, so let's drink that. Ah, and now we need to go touch, cut down some birch trees, awkwardly enough, because we need to have the room, or we need to have the, the wood in order to make the next stage of what we need for Serena. All right, there's a few here. There's one there, there's one there. I don't, I hate cutting down the trees, but I guess this one's kind of crowding things. Ah, there we go. And I can always put the saplings back down. That's, that's the way I can console myself about this whole, this whole mess. All right, yeah, there's a birch sapling. The dogs picked some of them up before I could get there. Hey guys, okay, watch out. All right, and now we can take the birch wood and now we have a few of the birch barricades. This is interesting, trading with tinkers. I did not know it would be quite as complex as it is. All right, and man, I need to change up some of these houses. It's been a little while. Don't worry, oh my gosh, there's a villager back here. Aren't you worried about being back here, dude? I guess he's not, he's just like relaxing. I didn't expect to see him here. Wow, look at the furnace, it's still pumping. I didn't know lava like charged it so well. It's such an awesome resource. The more I learn about lava, I guess. All right, Serena, I'm back. You need more? <laughs> oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, Yuki. At least I have something for you, Yuki. There you go. Now you can open up your next level of trading. Oh my goodness, let's go cut down more birch trees. Tinkers need a lot of like resources, my gosh. I mean, I guess some of these trees probably should have gone a long time ago. Because we do need to expand. And actually, that makes a good point. I have been intending for a long time to expand the, the Village of Light uh, more residential houses, residential zones with NPCs who are just like people who live in town over here. So I guess it's okay to clear these guys out. Because I did mean to expand over here at one point. So many plans, so many plans, so many plans. Now we have some saplings we can burn if necessary. There, I have more barricades. So now we start the run back. Oh my goodness. Trading with tinkers. Trading with tinkers. So much more complicated than I thought it would be. Alright, let's climb up here. Serena, how you doing? Alright, I've got some punchy sticks. I've got some barricades. I'll take that one. Man, they really make you work for it. It's easier just to go mine for these things half the time, if you ask me. And it's for the same aluminum or like chocolate or beer bush. Hey, Yuki! Really? Gold, Yuki? I can't help you out there! Oh. Okay, let's see what's going on with Serena now. Ten ore berry. Jungle barricades! Oh, I think that's as far as I'm getting with these guys today. I think I'm, that's as far as I can get with these guys without, without wasting emeralds and tearing my hair out about other things. But that's okay, it's fun to unlock villager trades and just see what the possibilities are and where they're going. Um, actually, let's go visit... Hmm, who should we visit? Not the priestesses, I think I unlocked all of their trades. Um, oh yeah, we do have some coins! And we actually need the coins for the coral for Dr. Nami. There's actually some villagers out in the morning! This is amazing! So let's actually turn in the items we have for coinage, which would be our pear juice. That would be right in here to this fine gentleman. Lucas! Hello, Lucas! I have finally brought you that pear juice. And my goodness, it was a little more complicated to make than I thought it would be. But it's totally worth it because I had a ton of pears, so now I have a ton of money. All right, wonderful. Ooh, and he does have some good plants. So tempting! So tempting! All right. Let's just walk away before I do something silly. And then we have the coffee for rain that I have had for a long time now and I've been meaning to turn in. Alright, pop up here. I gl I'm so glad the villagers aren't accidentally killing themselves anymore. We have a tinker in here! I forgot we had a tinker in here. A part builder. Yeah, okay. 
Trading with Tinkers is a lot more complicated. Rain? Oh, she must be downstairs. Ah, she does this now and then. Of course she would vanish just as I needed to trade with her. Oh, there she is. Oh, Rain, you really worried me for a minute. Uh, hang on. I do have some coffee for you. Right here. Actually, I had it with me the whole time. I'm sorry, Rain. All right, hang on, puppies. Hang on. It's a busy day. It's a busy day with Mom trying to, like, organize some trades and things like that. It's been interesting, that's for sure. All right, Rain, I have your cups of coffee. So sorry, they're like a million years overdue. I should probably charge her more for coffee. Thank you, Rain. All right, and how's this priestess? Needing, oh yeah, you're an archeology span too, priestess. A lot of them in here are actually, now that I recall. All right, well, there we go. Oh my goodness. That was a lot of running around. So that was kind of an interesting market day. We don't really have an objective beyond making a lot of coinage at the moment because we need to take these coins to Dr. Nami and be able to get a lot of coral from him as we work on the Coral Cove. But other than that, we're, I can't think of anything we desperately need in terms of like money or coins. There's actually a villager living in a proper house. You have my total respect, sir. So yeah, I can't think of anything in particular we need at the moment. And we're doing pretty good on trading. Doing pretty good with our emeralds. So I think we're okay. We're just, and we're doing good on dog food even. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. So right now we can just kind of like settle in and build up our wealth. Because whenever we do have to buy something, we burn through it like so fast. So oh, finally learning how to save. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining us as we run around, we adventure. Why do I only have two dogs when I brought, oh there's Zoe, <laughs> when I have brought three. Oh goodness, and let's see what this villager trades. It's kind of fun to see him out in the day for once. Oh good! We can finish off by trading with this villager who I have brought some humble wheat to. That should make you much happier, Mr. Villager, or Miss Villager. I apologize, you don't have a name yet. All right, you done? All done? Waiting for the sparklies? Oh, cooked chicken! Yay! I love... <laughs> I know it shouldn't be so silly, but it's because it's so random and you never know what's going to show up. And actually, in the future, once we start taking care of things uh, in Season 2, I plan on putting like a villager in market stalls. Like if they sell a particular thing that we really like. Not too many of them, but a few of them. All right, and so raw chicken for an emerald. Very nice to meet you. All right, everybody. So that's another awesome market day. And tomorrow, we're going to have a very interesting day just going around and kind of gathering wood and exploring in our own backyard just so we can make sure we have enough materials to get all the work we need done. So I'm pretty excited about that, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.